Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is fantastic. Um, uh, th this weekend was a phenomenal weekend for us. Um, the video that I, the video that ran on Friday, I actually recorded on Monday. There was a little bit of a continuity error there because I mentioned in the video on Friday that I was waiting on screws to arrive though that was because it was earlier anyway um I put that video off because the friend I was giving the box to I didn't want him to catch wind of it because there are people in our communities that anyway um so Friday night or Friday we left early Friday morning took off uh, east of here, three, four hours east, met up with friends uh, from the D.C. area. Uh, had a really wonderful day. And um, well, it, so <laughs> there's fun stories around all of this. But my friend, uh, the, the box was for a friend who is a musician. He's a guitarist for uh, my favorite band of ever, Flogging Molly. Uh, his name is Dennis, and uh, we've become friends with him over the years, and so we were going to see him. Uh, and it also just happened to be Malia's birthday on Friday, and so Friday we got to meet up with friends, and then he um, he got us. <laughs> he he said, "I've got presents for you," and we said, "Okay." So he brought he got us some merch, like you know, cool merch stuff, um, which was awesome. Uh, signed stuff, you know, like band stuff and then um so friday night so we go see friday's show it was in a casino uh and afterwards we all hung out and um he and matt uh the accordion player for the band uh came out and played some traditional irish music for us so we sat in the middle of a noisy casino and they played some songs. There was a bunch of friends from the ship, from the cruise. Um, Nathan, the bass player, and his wife Shelby came out for a little while and hung out. So it was just a really fun evening. Just chilled with friends, uh, friends from the cruise, friends from the you know the band's friends. Um, we all got to chill together, and then Dennis and Matt played us some songs. So that night he came out, and he's like, I've got another gift for you, and he handed Malia a bag. And so I wasn't, I was, I think I was doing, talking to some Nathan or I was talking to somebody, whatever. He just gave it to her. And so we go, I go over and she goes, Dennis gave us our gift. And I was like, oh really? And then she holds it up and he had given us a bottle of Napogue Castle whiskey. Uh, and he autographed it and everything and said, this was his favorite whiskey. And like that, I was like, well, that's hilarious. So I didn't take his gift to him Friday night uh, because it was in the casino that I wasn't bringing in this bottle and I definitely couldn't have got it into the concert venue. Uh, he couldn't come out before the show because of meet and greet and all that stuff. So I couldn't get it in there to him. So I could have gone and gotten it and given it to him in the casino, but I decided we'll just wait till tomorrow because we were going for two days. Um, so, but it was a great show. We had a great time hanging out. It was always fantastic. So, uh, Saturday, we woke up uh, late, had breakfast with some friends from the cruise, um, and we drove north uh, about three and a half hours to the next show, uh, which was in a little place called Jim Thorpe, PA, which was a phenomenal little town. I wish I'd have taken my camera and got some pictures, but it was also freezing freaking cold. I'd never heard this little town. It's in the middle of nowhere, kind of close to Allentown, like our east of or hour west of Philly, something like that. There's this little, like, they call it the Swiss Alps of Pennsylvania, and it's kind of what it is. It's like these tiny little, you know, it's this old world feeling town. I think it is old world. I think it's like, you know, like at least coal, you know, age, like 1800s kind of town that's on this little windy mountain roads and stuff, and all the shops are, like, antiquated. Like, they, they look vintage. Everything there is vintage, uh, so we went down there, we got drinks and, and snacks with friends, and then we went to the concert venue and got to hang out before the show. Um, um, we got to get our VIP passes and all that sort of stuff, and we just kind of hung out and had dinner before the show. The openers were fun. 
Jim, uh, Jen and the Degenerates, a British band from Liverpool and Manchester. They were fantastic. A really cool little punk band. And then Amigo the Devil, uh, who I've seen now like seven or eight times or something. I don't know. I've seen him a lot now. Six times? Maybe only five times. I, I've seen him a few times. Uh, he was there with his band um, for his new album. He's touring with them, and then the new album came out on Friday. So we got to see, you know, see a little bit of them, and then we kind of worked down to our traditional spot. <coughs> uh, when we go see Flagging Molly, we're always right in front of Dennis because he's our friend, right? Like So we park at the rail. Um, and while we were there, I look back, and Dennis's wife was there. She had come in for the show, so uh, she came over and gave us hugs. And his friend John was there, and his, his I guess, girlfriend, a fiance, I don't know, if, I don't think they're married. But um, So we, there was like a whole bunch of people, uh, which was f like even more friends from the cruise, right? So we got to hang out, um, and so the, the, the culmination of all of this is at the end of the show, um, there was like, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 of us VIPs, um, they, we, they kicked us out of the venue. We had to go backstage. There was nothing on top of the hill. So we all got, we all went backstage and just hung out for a while, a couple hours of backstage, had some drinks. Dennis gave me his, his pass, his all access pass. So I could go out to the car and get his present. Um, I should have taken a picture of it. You know, like how often do you get handed an all access pass? Uh, but whatever. I went out to the car. Um, and I came back and, and I, I had it behind me and I was like, you know, I told him like, before you open this, I was like, no, you know what? Just here. And so I handed him the box, he opened it and I was like, I promise you that's not the bottle you gave us. I had the same idea or whatever, but he was super grateful. And then from that moment on, I kind of got to be the cool kid. Like we're, you know, there's a bunch of us hanging out, a bunch of shipmates <coughs> from the cruise, band members, uh, you, you know, stage crew, all that stuff hanging out and they all were coming, like telling me, you know, coming, like, dude, that box is awesome. Oh my God, how'd you make it? Found out, I kind of knew this, but, uh, Matt, the accordion player is, um, he, he makes furniture. He went to like furniture school, uh, during one of their breaks one year. And so he makes furniture. And so he was really interested and asked a whole bunch of questions about the box. But, uh, it was, a, so I got to be like a little mini celebrity, backstage uh and that was really fantastic it was a really fun evening um i think bus call wasn't one o'clock so we had to, we didn't get to hang out for a whole huge long time but the culmination of the two days hanging out in both cities and stuff uh it was definitely a fantastic and amazing birthday weekend um yeah it's 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 when we left the cruise in November, we were just sad, like, oh, it's over. It's not. But we had this to look forward to. Like, wait, February, um, Dennis had given us the cruise or the tour schedule before it had been announced. It got announced, I think, at the end of the cruise. <laughs> and I had already seen the schedule, so I knew we're, we're going to go to these two shows. <clears throat> he said, great, well, you know, we'll get you on the guest list, all that sort of stuff. So, you know, we knew we had this to look forward to, but now, now they're going to, their next thing is a summer tour in Europe. So I'm sure they'll tour in the fall leading up to the cruise again, and we'll get to go to a few of those shows, but I, I now have to wait like another six or eight months to see my friends. Um, and that, that feels, huh, you know, I mean, It's been really fun to be to be friends with a band that I've been following for 22 years now. Um, to actually say, I've got friends uh, that are that are professional musicians. To say that I've got friends who are we met on this cruise and we became super close. And I'm this is like the 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 group of us as a whole. Like one of the friends is a, a manager for other bands and has been doing that for a long time. Uh, you know, it's just like, it, it's just such an interesting, and where did my life, how did I get to this point, right? How did I get to the point of, um, yeah, of being, uh, of those situations? And I, and I guess part of it is like the, the loss of, uh, of, part of it, I just put myself out there. Like, I'm just going to talk to people, and if they talk back, great, and I'm not going to try to pretend or be weird. And, um. 
I think that 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 ultimately is the is the thing that kind of makes it all work, you know? Like just being genuine, you know. When I when, I'm setting a setting the backstage area talking to Dennis about recipes. Like he cooks for his family when he's not on tour. And we talked about stuff that we cook. Like, you know, just like, just dad stuff, right? Very interesting time. But I did. I got to be a celebrity for 10 minutes, and it was fantastic. <laughs> uh, and then we all went back to having some Guinness and, and talking about how great it is to be uh, to be a part of the larger family. What would you get up to this weekend? I'm sorry if mine was exceptionally exciting and yours was boring, but hopefully you had fun. Please let me know in the comments. I read books. I've got books to talk about. I have uh, something else I want to talk about tomorrow. So that it might be a little bit of a busy week. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know sounds smart is troglodyte. It is a noun a person considered to be primitive, out of date, coarse, uncouth, ill-mannered, or brutish. Sick and tired of going out with troglodytes, Janet and her friends... Janet told her friends she was through with blind dates. Troglodytes. T-R-O-G-L-O-D-Y-T-E. I thought, isn't isn't troglodyte like a something out of D&D? Or like a fantasy class or race or whatever? I, I always just assume that popular culture claimed that word to apply to other people. Kind of like calling somebody an ogre or a troll.